Now we're working developing news in a deadly stabbing. The district attorney's office has indicted two suspects in connection with the murder of Alex Silva. He walked into the police station for help right after he was attacked and then died days later. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner joins us now live in New Bedford with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. That's right, Shannon. A new wrinkle in this case, a second suspect in the mix, and slowly but surely we're learning more about the potential circumstances behind a young man's death. Eyewitness News getting a first look at 21-year-old Amaryllis Valera of New Bedford. She stands newly indicted by grand jurors in the July homicide of 22-year-old city man Alex Silva. The counts against Valera, unarmed robbery, and accessory to murder after the fact. DA Sam Sutter's office says she's connected to this man, 26-year-old Marco Shane Ramos, now carrying a formal murder indictment. Ramos is accused of fatally stabbing Alex Silva on Rodney French Boulevard. We were rolling on his early August court appearance. Prosecutors have been mum on details, but they are now telling Eyewitness News there appears to be a robbery element here. They've also revealed to us that Ramos and Valera were not well known to Alex Silva. Silva cut hair at Silvera's barber shop, where he is fondly remembered by friends and co-workers. Police say back on the night of July 31st, Alex Silva walked into their South End station with a stab wound. He was rushed to St. Luke's Hospital and later flown to Rhode Island Hospital, where he died. Ramos and Valera are being held without bail. Superior Court arraignment dates for both have not been set, but we're told to expect more case details at that time. Live in New Bedford tonight with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.